Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome back to the Mordor campaign. It is episode 137. I can hardly believe it. Every time I say a number, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger, and it uh, becomes more and more unbelievable and more and more depressing. <laughs> okay, we are currently staring at Mordor. And I think we'll just, you know, go counterclockwise, or rather, that is clockwise, actually. We'll just go clockwise. That seems to be the the way we've developed. Uh, having just sacked Imladris, I have spent all of my money on building and repairing. I've especially built shrines in places like Ganyard, uh basically in every single one of our recent acquisitions. Dale, Esgaroth, Riverrun, uh, etc, etc. I've also put a bit of cash into repairing certain buildings, but it looks to me like uh, somehow we've run out of funds, and I don't know if these buildings are going to be completed or not. It looks like they won't be for some reason, even though I've already paid for them. I don't know. Uh, most importantly, though, I have dropped 20,000 gold on the construction of two troll training grounds. One in Hormorath's Folly and the other in the Mountain Fort. I think we already have one in Moria. We do, but the more I have, the better we are off. Especially in the west, because the next, uh, the nearest place we can recruit from is Dol Guldur, of course, for the Olag High, as we all know. So I was very gung ho as to build those, and I have done. They're on, they're five turns away, essentially. Uh, so that was a significant amount of money. I've also retrained and trained some more units to garrison around the Empire, and if we take a quick look around. It looks to me like Harad is getting wise. They've got Aban the Profane facing off with Uvatha over near Durwath, uh, which is here. They've actually got a bunch of troops now, like two and a half stacks, three stacks of troops on the border, um, as if they're getting ready to, you know, invade or something like that. Nothing um, near Dunharrow as of yet. There's also... Captain Umer, just south of MN Arnett, which I have also put aside money to upgrade because it is going to become uh, the front line pretty soon, and I would much rather have a stone castle than a wooden one. So that put me back 5,000 gold. So you can imagine that uh, I th this is basically how I spent all my money. And again, we are immediately in debt, so we'll have to fight some battles to lessen our... Uh, upkeep, which will happen shortly. So, we are still moving troops to Arnak, and that's essentially it for Mordor and Gondor. Over in the west, by the elves, I am continuously besieging Lond Angrin. Still going on, and I assume it will be for the next couple of turns. Unfortunately, I had to break the siege of Londaire because Captain Velanyan Hold on here. <laughs> Captain Valinyonen? Valanyonen, perhaps. Valanyonen? Anyway, he has advanced, and I definitely did, want to, did not rather want to get attacked by him as well as... Efederuindur? <laughs> Whatever his goddamn name is. I didn't want to be attacked by both of these guys, so I lifted the siege... Unfortunately, allowing these guys to eat yet again. Uh, but my idea here was to attack this captain and then just turn around and besiege Londaire again because there's no way these guys can really uh, take on good old Hormrath of Deer, Lord of Terror, without some support. Of course. So that will happen later in the episode. Uh, Arnor is still at war with us. Though Aragorn, not the Aragorn, and Aragorn decided to break the siege of our fort. Uh, which is sort of bizarre, to be honest. But luckily I was able to put Lugduff, Lagduff rather, the Profane, back into Moria. So we don't have to pay upkeep for these guys. Our troops in the fort 
A little worse for wear, but they should do fine. These guys are going to help reinforce these two points eventually. Right now, they're infected with the goddamn plague. With the goddamn plague! And uh, I'm basically going to quarantine them in the mountains for a minute. Uh, I've got some troops here ready to be retrained in the mountain fort. Cora Hill has a pretty decent army, and now we have to decide what to do with it. Um, I think I've decided I want our Nazgul Adunafel to capture Coldfells, which is here. And then I've, after uh, Gundabad is captured, I want Ren to capture Litkash. Uh, so that we can kind of have this rolling front into the west. Uh, which is a, a, a very good song as well. Uh, part of the, uh, I think it's like the credits song for the uh, Return of the King. That's uh, just a just a hot tip for you guys. <laughs> a very nerdy hot tip. Okay, so it looks like Isengard has captured the region of Mithaithul and the town of Horwell, and they have garrisoned the ever-loving shit out of it. Good God, goblins and Dunlendings and Uruk raiders and Warg riders. It is a strong point uh, that we are now bordering. So. Essentially, I think our borders extend all the way along this river. And I wouldn't mind having towers there. It's sort of weird. The uh, region of Trollshaws is extremely large. But uh, the only useful bit of it is this. <laughs> because you can actually defend this little... I don't know what you would call this geographical feature, but you can defend this really easily. The rest of it, not so much. Um, so maybe... Just maybe, what we should do is head south to capture a region. There is a town right here. There it is. Austin Edel. If we were to capture that... Well, actually, I don't know if that's such a good idea because... Huh. Well, if we were to capture Austin Edel, we would have to capture Byrig immediately. Just due to the... Uh, Proximity, and then we can have a united front against Tharbad alongside our Isengard allies, who are actually doing really well against the war, or really well in the war against uh, Arnor, I should say. Um, so, it appears that we are, in fact, building a united front with Isengard. So maybe that is a thing that our... Nazgul, a Dunafel can, or rather, a Korahil, the blind sorcerer. He's gonna stumble his way. He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna hit every single one of these trees along the way, sort of like, uh, is that Plinko, where you drop the thing in the top and then where it lands in the bottom is what you win. You know, and you, you 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 place bets and stuff. It's it it's sort of weird to me that that is actually like a really large gambling industry. Just this really, to my eyes, like childish like, arcade game, you know, like, you play this at the fucking fair, essentially. For some reason, I don't have that view about, uh, roulette, which is essentially the same thing, but just horizontal. <laughs> that seems more official, I guess, because it's in casinos that I've been to. I think, I feel like the Plinko thing, if that is what it is called, is popular in Asia, but not so much in the West. But anyway, I digress. Uh, so, that's what we'll do. We'll bring Akora Hill south and see if he can be effective there. I just... I'm not comfortable with all of this fog of war around Imladris, though. And, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we are gonna have to garrison Imladris for fucking ever. Currently, our garrison is only giving us a 20% bonus to public order. So this may be, uh... This may be off the table. That is, using these troops as an army with a Korra Hill. You know what I really need to do? I really need to move, to move my capital. I think I mentioned this last episode, but Waldberg or Tirith Anduin would be great. I just need the cash. I should have done it <laughs> with the 50,000 from Imladris. Okay, I promise now that once we sack Gundabad... Or once we sack Thranduil's halls, perhaps, we will use that cash to move the capital. It is basically necessary at this point. 
Okay, Uff Gas is just very much not liked in Framsburg. So I kind of have to find a use for him. Uh, you know what we're going to do? We are going to put him in command of... Uh, who is it? Ren the Unclean's siege equipment. There we go. He can act as his left... His lieutenant. His right-hand man. Uh, I think... Uh, I'm not sure how long we need to stay in Hormaras Folly. It seems like we need a pretty sizable force here to ensure Hormaras Folly does not uh, freak the fuck out. Let's see. Okay, so I actually need quite a few more units there before I can move the army. So I need cash to recruit garrison units like uh, I, I need to be able to recruit orc band and whatnot so we're gonna be waiting for our culture to shift which we need a shrine of Melkor to accomplish but we'll continue building that troll training ground unless I can ship some units perhaps up from goblin town but even goblin town is not looking so hot well we're taxing the ever-loving shit out of it that's why Okay, we're gonna go normal taxes, and we will remove two of these units, send them to Hormrath's Folly to act as garrison. That would be great. And we'll leave these two units as garrison in Iman Gestal. Eventually, we will retrain everything we are able to there. I think we actually need to move most of our units out of here. Well... Yeah, we don't actually have the facilities I thought we did in Among Us Dull. So actually, I have to head to, what, Karanum Roth? That has the army army barracks? It has a barracks. Is it Karas Galadin that has the army barracks? It is. Okay. All right, we have to send our troops there to be retrained at some point, whenever we have the cash. Now, um... So the Siege of Gundabad is going to continue for a little bit just because I hate fighting the Dwarves, especially if they're Dragon Slayers. I don't want to have to take the walls from them. We are, though, about to besiege Thranduil's Halls. We have a sizable force under Dawndeath. And I think he should do quite well, especially if we bring up these two units of Troll Catapults. They will arrive within the next few turns. Uh, so, referring back, let's just, you know, think back a few minutes ago when I was talking about the Haradrim. That freaks me out. And now, the conclusion of the wars in the North East is becoming more and more and more of an issue to me. I really need these wars to be finished so that I can really focus on the... Haradrim, because it's possible that they declare war on me any fucking minute. So, to that end, I'm going to besiege Erebor right now with uh, Dwarf Wa. I don't know how many men... Okay, well, I don't actually have the movement to do so. I don't know how many men they're going to have. I assume there is a garrison script of some kind. Uh, I guess we'll have to check next turn. Oh, I can add these catapults. So I can cha- oh, I see. Okay, so there's actually quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of dwarves in Erebor. And they're going to probably, uh, sally out. So we're going to lift the siege, and, well, we can't retreat, it appears, but we will- we need to bring up more units, that's for sure. See, the problem here is I, <laughs> I don't have that many units. I need to garrison all of these cities to such a degree that they don't revolt. But I need enough men to ensure that the dwarves do not counterattack. It's a true fucking conundrum. Oh no, I just pissed off Dale. Oh gosh. Okay, we will send back one unit of raiders. I just really want to capture Erebor right now, and I've probably... I've probably invited this entire stack of dwarves to come ruin my day. Ruin my entire life, actually. If they decide to march up... 
I, I'm just gonna cry, okay? Oh yeah, look at this. We've repaired all the shit in Delgol Dur and Ost in Jill. I have recruited and retrained all sorts of units uh, where it was necessary. Okay, so I think we will probably close out the episode with the battle against this captain. Again, it's mostly catapults and whatnot. Well, I say mostly, but they have a lot of catapults and spear units, which we can very easily encircle. The, the elves, for some reason, are just extremely easy to encircle. When they don't have a lot of archer units, that is, because usually the archers, you know, they run away, etc. But I've seen spear lines, like I'll put my orc band directly in front of their spear line. Their spear line doesn't move, and then I just flank around <laughs> with everything and charge from the rear and the front at the same time. And they just crumble. It's amazing. But uh, I'm hoping that happens this time, but there's, of course, no guarantee. Uh, we'll find out. Although, I have to say, this may very well be a river battle. And if it is... I may just flee. <laughs> this... Oh my fucking god, I didn't realize how close the, the elves were. Uh, yikes. <laughs> this is a weird battlefield. Somehow we managed to actually make it across the river. I guess maybe we... Hired some ships or something? I don't know. I don't know, but it's sort of like a like desert terrain or like steppe terrain. It's very bizarre. I don't really understand this, but I have to say, we are far too close to the elves. And apparently they're only pushing forward. So I need to get around the flank with my Nazgul and Numenorians very quickly to deal with the uh, catapults. I'm going to use my archers to fire on uh, I guess maybe the sword Quendi right into the center of the mass. I want my orc band to run forward. I want my morning guard to stop just short of their lines. And then I'll have the uh, flanking forces move ahead. Although at this point that group is not so much a flanking force as it is the front line. Um, okay, so it looks like for some reason they're not actually firing or attacking or anything. They're just kind of charging, which is bizarre. Let's uh, let's chase off these uh, archers with our orc band right away. Get our Nazgul in place, and you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna grab our Maulers. Okay, we're gonna charge frontally with. The Raiders and the the Maulers, these three units are going to go around the flank. There we go. I want my Halberds and the Maulers to charge them in the rear. And I want to sacrifice like my Raiders and whatnot as... I want them as like a... Uh, the Anvil to my Hammer. I'm also going to grab the Olic High and send them around the flank. Okay, um, as long as I can get those catapults to not fire, I will be happy. Uh, <laughs> also, if I can avoid getting charged by these Eldarinway swordsmen, that would be great. Oh, the catapults are getting ready. Oh god, I want flaming ammunition so I can see this happen. Okay, come on. Oh my god, my Nazgul got bogged down big time. And, what is this? My Orc Raiders have charged those Mithlon Nobles, just as I had hoped. And my Maulers are now coming in to attack... The Elder Inway Swordsman. We really need to get these guys around the flank. Uh, I want the Morning Guard. Where are they? I want them to actually, like, hold the line. Although it looks like the High Elves have moved into, pl into place already. Oh, shit. I don't even know what they're firing at at this point, but it's extremely ineffective. Oh, my gosh. We're just going to have to weather these shots, and they're completely missing every single one. That's amazing. My Orc Band, though, um are getting shredded by the entirety of their line, which is, you know, to be expected. I lost a few Numenorians in there. Yeah, unfortunately. At least four by my count. Okay, so, uh, looks like we've got some nobles coming in order to... Uh, man, their catapults have been really ineffective. 
We've got some nobles coming to chase off my men. Good god. I'm, like, every time they fire my asshole puckers, but at the same time, I think they're just firing at my goddamn archers. Okay, let's see. Status report, we are fighting uphill against uh, elves, which is, of course, never a good idea. Uh, but we're gonna come around the flank. Okay, we have to engage these nobles. Oh, it's getting messy. It's getting messy already. <laughs> we're gonna charge into that catapult, though. Let's see, I'm sorry, I keep pausing this because this is, uh, this can very easily go horrendously wrong. I need these guys over here, and I want those raiders charging at the fucking center of the line. And the Alakai, of course, are gonna assist my Nazgul in dealing with all of these catapults and archers and whatnot. Here come the Numenorians. All right, my nobles, or rather, uh, the nobles are about to get hit by my maulers. I really need to get my... Why are you in pike formation? For the love of God, I told you to not be in pike formation at the start of the goddamn battle. And here they are, acting as if they're in pike formation. Not sure what happened there, but I'm not too pleased about it. Oh my God, my units are beginning to rout. I want my halberds to just force their way through here, and I need my Nazgul to charge these nobles to cause some casualties, if at all possible. We're being chased off by fucking spearmen, and my archers are firing, probably hitting my own men in the ass. I want to fire at these Noratirno because they're lightly armored. What do we got? Uruks fighting Eldarinwe. Swordsmen, let's get the Maulers up here, and... We'll have the Alakai charge the archers. Yeah, my orc raiders kind of fucked themselves big time there. They're not doing really what I had planned. Okay, these guys are way out of position, unfortunately. I was really not expecting the elves to be this fucking close, though. Okay, here we go. We're charging downhill at these... Nobles, I'm hoping with the combined force of this charge as well as the halberds we can break this unit And if we do that would be fucking stupendous. I've done it And now we have Plenty of troops To charge up the hill with I want this unit though to kind of come like this I want to use those Nazgul to break the other noble unit in the center of the field as well Okay, we've got all of these guys coming. The Alakai are about to hit. Boom! Of course, the archers ought to flee. Usually they do. Here's a unit of spears. I definitely want my maulers to engage there. Let's just skirmish with our uh, Numenorians for a bit. Okay, we have some maulers that are going to charge those Eldarinwe. I need these spearmen, or halberds rather, to fucking get into place and we have to silence those we really have to silence those got damn uh, catapults did I not just say that I don't know I don't even know what I'm fucking talking about anymore <laughs> let's just uh, flank here get the Numenorians out and here we go our archers are not in guard formation uh, what's going on we are Moving all sorts of units into the center of the field. My Numenorians are going to charge those Mithlon nobles who have basically destroyed everything we've thrown against them. Not ideal. My Halberds are now attacking those dudes in the rear. Can we get a Nazgul Screech off? Would that help? No, you know what we need? We need a proper goddamn charge. Oh man, this is a costly battle already. I can tell. Okay, we really need to focus on these guys on the flanks. Oh my god. Oh! They just hit their own fucking catapult. Yeah, we need to really focus on... Uh, these units on the flanks. Specifically this one. Once we break that, we can take the center of the field. Okay, I gotta get, for that. I gotta get rid of that catapult though. That's the only thing. I'm gonna use the Alakai in the center of the field. I need these raiders to chase. Oh, we have killed the captain. Hopefully that's gonna have some effect. Where was that exactly? 
looked like they were breaking. I think it was in here. Yeah, they just totally wiped us out. <laughs> We've got some Sword Quendi and Mithlin Nobles unopposed. In the center of the field, we have a bunch of Elder Inway Spearmen. Uh, okay, so this is messy as all hell. Uh, we're gonna charge these units in the rear. Let's engage these ones so they don't get carried away. And uh, attack us in the flank or something. I'm gonna chase off the Norotirno with raiders. This unit of raiders is going to take care of the catapults, which have already fled. So they're instead gonna come to the center of the field. My Nazgul are gonna have to hmm, get into some sort of position. Actually, no, we'll take out the Norotirno warriors with our Nazgul. The Alec High are going to help. Uh, break that unit because they ought to break any second now and the raiders I think will fill in any holes we have for example these sword quendi are probably going to be a problem ooh my archers need to flee and they need to be in skirmish mode my catapults are going to fire at those nobles actually yeah we're going to fire at that big blob of dudes right there we should be fine to fire at them and the Nortuno warriors are almost gone Shit, there we go. We just broke those Elder Inray Swordsmen. Let's charge those guys. Oh man, yeah, we are, we've are we lost a lot of men already, but I think we'll have more than enough to uh, besiege Londaire once we're done. Oh yeah, okay, we've got this flank dealt with. Oh god, yeah, oh. We'll put one volley into those elves and we'll see the effect and whether it's... Oh my fucking god. Our catapult's been attacked <laughs> by some fucking nobles. So we're going to flank these dudes and use this flank to go after. Oh shit, these guys have yet to break. Okay, we're going to have to use the Nazgul to get rid of these archers. Use these guys to defend our shit. Oh man, this is... This is messy, really, really goddamn messy. It's like, uh, Lionel messy, you know what I'm saying? Top of its game messy. <laughs> uh, we have broken those archers, but we are about to be charged by spearmen. Let's counter charge with Olek High. That should break them. Those swordsmen have broken and they're fighting to the death. We have a big mob of dudes in the middle that we need to break. Uh, yeah, let's... Get over there and protect our catapult. There we go. These spearmen should be... Oh, they're steady. Okay, we'll use the Nazgul to break them for good, and we can run down these dudes while we're at it. As long as they turn. Looks like they're not turning, so we're gonna not do that. And we'll charge those nobles with everything we got. Here we go. That's a big-ass mob. It should scare them enough that they run. Oh man, these swordsmen have just formed up again. But there we go. Once we break those spearmen, the swordsmen should break. As long as my Olek High don't start dropping. They've been in prolonged combat. Um, the swordsmen aren't doing what? Oh shit, we are losing Olek High. I need to get in there. Break them. Okay. Let's put the Olek High out of combat. We'll use these... Uh, Numenorians to do what? Okay, we've actually basically killed every single elf now. We just need to uh, deal with these nobles who have also broken. Okay, that's interesting. My catapult, luckily, still kicking. Man, yeah, that got out of control really quickly. My center was far too weak. I don't have enough spears in this army to actually effectively hold the center anymore. But my question now is... Who remains? Why is this battle not yet over? There it is. Okay. 56 elves survived. <laughs> 1,500 elves slain. Those were expensively... Like, those were... Nobles, those were heavily armored elves as well, in, ex in exchange for only a thousand orcs. We should have, as I said, more than enough troops to besiege the city, and hopefully we can starve them out.
Oh, man, holy shit. We, we have 7,000 gold worth of prisoners, and I am tempted to ransom because I need gold. Unfortunately, the ransom has been rejected, so that captain and his army has been slain. Now, Captain Eru... 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 Dryathon. Eru Dryathon is, uh, still kicking around. And so is Captain Nostalion. I kind of forgot about him. And he is actually preventing me from moving. There we go. Okay, I think if we besiege... First, let's actually check our captain, make sure we have units for reinforcement. Okay, our maulers aren't so hot either. Oh man, I gotta do some do some work here. Let's see, our raiders are basically gone. Let's just top these dudes up, make room for our maulers. There we are. So I find this system working pretty well, where I uh, have a few extra units just sitting around which I can use to reinforce. It has definitely served me well. Um, our archers are actually in need of reinforcement as well. Let's do this. Shazam! Okay, uh, now we can besiege the city. Build our equipment again. Something like that. And I can't imagine that the elves have any forces within an appreciable distance that can actually uh, cause us any issue. I suppose this is the worst, but look at this. It's three units of catapults <laughs> and three units of Noritirno warriors. My Nazgul alone can take care of that, basically. Uh, so, we are looking good on the Western Front, and I think that is all we are going to do for this video. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. What the fuck? <laughs> the Haradrim have all sorts of assassins in the center of my fucking empire, which is a little bizarre. And, uh, it's causing me to ask some, some questions, that's for sure. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. When we come back, I will probably... We're going to besiege Thranduil's Halls for a few turns. We're going to besiege Gundabad for a few turns. And I'm going to have to try to formulate some sort of plan regarding Erebor. I really want to get that going right away. If you have any suggestions, of course, let me know. As always, my name is Incoherence. This has been episode 136 rather 137 of the Mordor campaign. I will see you guys later.